How's the day been? The day has been wonderful. Thanks for asking. I'm so glad we get to chat and hang today. Yeah, it's really cool. Congratulations on everything again. It's cool to just continue to talk to you and just have even better news coming on the oh. plate. Like It's just so exciting to see what you're doing. It's It's unreal. Thank you. Thanks for that. I'm having so much fun and I'm so excited to get to be coming home soon. My like Canada suitcase is packed on my <laughs> early. I'm in a dressing room in DC today on tour, but I'm like, as soon as we get home, swapping things over and I can't wait to come and see everybody. What is in your Canada suitcase? What are you bringing specifically? Ooh. That's a good question. Well, lots of um, outfits for the whole tour, so I'm excited for that. I'm a bit of an overpacker when it comes to shoes. <laughs> really, <laughs> really probably way too many of those in there. Um, definitely, I think I'm going to bring two different winter jackets, I think, just to kind of be able to mix it up. And I've also got my toque, my mitts, my scarf, all my favorite staying warm things. Oh, and I also have a leftover Tim Hortons gift card that I haven't quite finished yet that I'm going Whoa. to. Whoa. Yes. You got a little roll up the rim action coming I back know. up north. I know. I'm ready for it. <laughs> uh, can we start with the show at Edmonton? Uh, December the 10th, people are excited. We're so pumped to get you back and with Canadian music back live here in the City of Champions, along with the Tim and the Glory Boys. Can you tell us a little bit about the show? I cannot wait for this show. I mean, I'm so excited for the whole tour, but. This is gonna be the hometown, you know, Alberta show for me. And I'm just so thrilled to get to see everybody. I think there's gonna be a few people from Grand Prairie making the trip, which is really exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've gotten to play at the Windsphere Center a few times and um, just like guesting and going out for a song is such a beautiful place. And to just think about, I've been looking at the the seating map of the of the of the show, like going, oh my gosh, there are people in all of these seats, and I am going to lose my mind. I'm gonna cry. I know it's gonna happen. I'm just so excited for that show, especially that one's gonna hold a very special place in my heart. It's really cool to also see artists like yourself bring along a newer band, a newer face to people too with Tim and the Glory Boys. Uh, with that coming around full circle, do you have anybody in mind that, that really did that for you when you were starting off this entire career? Oh my goodness, so many of my you know, Canadian heroes and friends were people who were always there for me. I'm so excited to have Tim and the Glory Boys on this tour awesome to have them um i love their music and excited for their path and um for me you know like carolyn don johnson very much took me under her wing especially moving to nashville and uh, she had me stay i got to rent her black like, pool house at her place and we got to write together and she's been such a wonderful mentor to me and when it comes to things on the road getting to you know travel and open up for Miranda Lambert and Little Big Town. That was like my first major tour, first night staying in a tour bus, all those things. And um, they just, they took the best care of me. And Dirk Bentley was incredible. That was a really special tour because we got to go all the way across Canada, which was so fun and um, loved getting to, to be a part of that. And it's true, it's like, to be able to like meet an audience of of, so, of someone that you really look up to and admire their music, it's like, wow, what an incredible way to meet some new friends. So I'm, I'm excited to hopefully see some of those friends that I met maybe at the Dirk Show coming out to hang out at the Windspear. Now, the new single, Villain and Me, I have been binge listening to this for the last two weeks. And <laughs> I've been trying to put it together. And then when you put out your video when you were on the bandwagon, and then when you went basically line by line and explained it all, that blew me away. I think I've watched that video 10 times. No Just way, you're making my hear... day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> it you is for the, that. It's so cool. I wish more artists did that, right? Where they just kind of explained it all the way through. And I mean, the cathartic of it, the, the vulnerability of you putting your heart on a sleeve and putting it out to everybody. Can you guys, can you kind of just give a little bit of a background of this single for our Kissing Country listeners? Yes, thank you for watching that video and for t t asking about the song. It really means a lot. Definitely the most personal song that I've put out to this point, which was very much a nerve wracking thing to me because it, it was, it came from probably the darkest point for me, you know, going through 
the, the pandemic, it's like what waves we've been on and continue to be on in it. And it's like, oh, some of those like lonely moments where you're just really forced to be with yourself and those vulnerable and uncomfortable thoughts, those are things like the voices in your head that are, you know, telling you what you're struggling with or what you're not good enough at. And I think there's things that we all, you know, tell ourselves in those really dark moments. And um, music is my place to be able to get some healing and feel better about it and to just talk about it. Usually, you know, talking about those things is just something I run from. So this felt like a whole new new page for me to be like, I'm actually gonna put this in a song. Oh, and then I'm gonna put it out into the world. Wow, this is really a little bit terrifying, but um, it's been just crazy this last week and a bit since the song's been out, seeing people listening to it out there and feel, you know, reading their words or hearing their comments about the fact that they feel the same way is such a comforting thing. That's the best part about music. It's like we're all human and we all feel these things and it just makes me feel like not alone in that in myself and makes me so happy to think that somebody listening out there could feel a little less alone too. So um, I'm really grateful to have this one out there. The biggest thing that I, I took away from in that video too is that when you look at uh, people like yourself and other artists, especially on social media and you follow them and they look like they just have the best life, right? They're doing all of these amazing things. You know, you've done so much groundwork and you're living this life that you've been working towards. And for you to come off and, and just be so honest to say like, there's nights that I, I think I could have done so many different things. I, I feel like I could have changed this. I could have not done that. I could have done this. And for you to almost record the fact that you sometimes second guess in yourself, even though you're living this life, I think is so important. And like you said, with people really connecting to that, I think it's really important for people like yourself and other people who have a platform to really talk about this kind of stuff. Thank you for saying that. I really. I really believe that's true too. And it's like, you know, it inspires me to see people being courageous and talking about their truth. And, you know, it is so important to see the brighter side of things, I think. And sometimes like really hold on to that. I think that gives us strength sometimes when we need it. Uh, but I'm learning that it's also a strong thing to be like, no, I'm not okay right now. Or this is something that I'm really struggling with. And, um, I think that there's a power in that too. So I'm I'm in the middle of figuring that out. I definitely don't have it figured out, but it is true. It's like, whether it's somebody that we follow on socials or just somebody that always looks so happy and together. And it's like, I think remembering that we all feel the whole spectrum of things. There's never anybody that only exists in this, in this one way that it can be presented or looked forward to. And um, I think it's important to talk about that. So thank you for saying that. It really means more than I can say. <laughs> it's really cool. It is. Um, switching gears, the CCMA is coming up. Exciting. Oh, I'm so You're pumped. <laughs> nominated for X, so many awards. You're performing. Uh, tell us a little bit about the excitement and, and where were you when you started finding out more about the, the CCMAs, the fact that you're going to be on stage and the fact that you're you're getting ready to hopefully take some hardware home too. Oh, well, thank you. I actually, I was walking. Um, I remember I was outside of the venue. We were opening for Brothers Osborne on this tour and we we're um, in, I think in Texas, in Dallas maybe, and we were walking in front of these restaurants and I like picked up my phone on the sidewalk and just like started feeling like the messages or it, it tagging things going off. And I was like, whoa, this is CCMA day. This is so exciting. Um, my manager and I were walking on the sidewalk, like cheering and kind of um, being like, whoa, really fun. And so um, I can't wait to come back to see everybody at home and to be able to do this in person is such an exciting thing. And um, I just think the heart and the return of our, our country music community is such a, a beautiful thing. I can't wait to play, can't wait to celebrate, you know, the, the past year of Canadian music. And I just am so happy to get to see everybody. We, uh, we talked to Jojo Mason this week and he had showed me a picture of the shoes that he's wearing. He doesn't care about his outfit, but he cares about the shoes that he's wearing. Ooh, it's just white and gold them. Nikes. <laughs> Do you have any insights? Any insights that we can uh, let our Kissing Country listeners know about? Hey, well, I, I was just saying, I'm like wearing a black and white sweater right now. It's cold in this dressing room, but um, <laughs> I am going to be... 
I love black and white themed things. I kind of love the image of the duality of that. Um, and so I have this electric guitar that I'm going to play that I have um, just started playing in the shows, which is really fun. So I'm going to play that on the song I'm playing and I have an outfit to match with some black and white themed things. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> well, we're excited to get you back, not only to CCMAs, but also here at Edmonton. Tennille, again, thank you so much for taking the time. This Villain and Me song, I, I can't even put into words how important I think it is for people and, and your unique and beautiful voice really does come through on it. And I think when people like yourself step up and they talk about this stuff, it, it opens up the doors for, for people too. So I, I think that's just really, really important. Thank you. Thank you for saying that even it means so, so much. And um, I hope I get to see you in Edmonton. I can't wait to see everybody there. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're so excited. Country music's coming back and we couldn't think of anybody else to, to play it off. So thank you again. Best of luck in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll see you very soon. I can't wait to see you there. Thanks everybody. Sending lots of love.